Welcome back. The program on bodies Ask the Ministers of God right here on your favorite channel, MBC TV. And our viewer tonight, we are looking at a very interesting subject, lost sons and daughters in the house. And maybe you are wondering, how is this possible? You are right there at home, but you are lost. We are having servants of God, anointed great men of God, Apostle Dan Gishimu, our resident minister, and also uh, on set tonight, you are also being joined by uh, Bishop Dr. Stephen uh, Nyaga, thank you so much for your views and opinions even as we continue with this discussion. And uh, Apostle, just mm -hmm. before the break, as uh, Bishop was uh, putting it, it mm -hmm. seems that when you are lost, uh, when you are in the home, mm -hmm. uh, there, 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 there are very high chances that you might not realize. And this looks like a very, very big danger for many of the Christians who are in the church. You know, there's something that we call familiarity. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm there. And, you know, familiarity can very easily breed some level of ignorance. Okay. Sometimes you don't know what really belongs to you. Okay? Because, you know, you've been familiar with the surrounding. So you never even venture to deal with the, familiar, the familiarity. Mm -hmm. And since you don't do anything, even to, to see, and even to check yourself, you know, I'm in this house. What am I for in this house? What belongs to me here? What can I do in God's house, for example? You'll just be there and you just be lost. You don't know where you, you belong. You are neither there nor there. You see new people coming and then they advance, they pass you. And then you get some bitterness. And you know, the worst thing about bitterness is that if you have bitterness because somebody has come by past you and he's advancing on the right course, mm -hmm. that bitterness will breed hatred. Mm -hmm. And you know what the Bible says? If you hate your brother, you are a murderer. Mm -hmm. And there is no murderer who will inherit the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. So it, it is always good for people to be careful mm -hmm. in, the in the church. Whether you are a minister, mm -hmm. Are you doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. Do you, are you aware of where you are, mm -hmm. what you are supposed to do? And are you doing it in order at least to maintain, mm -hmm. you know, the mark that God wants you to have? Wow. So not only seeing, but also realizing mm -hmm. in this house mm -hmm. what belongs to me. Exactly. There are some people who are not actually benefiting from where they are, mm -hmm. simply because they live in ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they live in ignorance. So they don't benefit. They, they don't benefit. They, they, you know, the Bible talks of God blessings, mm. but they don't get them wow. because wow. they are not aware. So mm. to them, the mm. church is mm -hmm. a Sunday, mm. let me go on Sunday, mm -hmm. let me, you know, yes. ritualistic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was actually <laughs> wanted to come to yeah. uh, Dr. Even as you add on that. Yeah. So when you paint up the picture of an average Christian, is it that uh, much possible that one can just go as a routine? You do go to church every Sunday, maybe if there are fellowships, maybe if it is giving, but then there is something still that is not right with you. Yeah, I can say yes. And with a capital letter, yes. yes. <laughs> because number one, we have a lot of believers who even they are not born again. These are some of our members, or rather some members of the church, who actually started from Sunday school. So the church has become a shisho to them. It's their culture. It's, it's some, their of them, of some of them found their parents going to church. Yeah, they just follow their parents yeah. to, the, uh, uh -huh. to come to the church. And then they have the parents saying, praise the Lord, I'm saved. They, so they also say, praise the Lord, <laughs> I'm, saved. I'm saved. Because according to them, all those who go to that church, they yes. profess that they are saved. That's mm -hmm. the culture mm -hmm. of their church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this child, or rather this person, has never come into any relationship mm -hmm. or never encountered with Jesus Christ as mm -hmm. Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who has gone even through the college. But this person has never encountered mm -hmm. relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But he or she confesses Jesus. He or she confesses that she belongs to this and the other church. Mm -hmm. I am a choir. I am in the praise team. Sure. I'm in the team of evangelism. In the intercessory. I'm in the accessory. Uh -huh. But the, this person is living in sin. 
Lost son. Lost, <laughs> lost, sons, lost son. Lost sons and daughters. <laughs> and at the times, I would say that because of that one, and some of the members, uh, the parents maybe, mm -hmm. they are the good givers of the church. Mm -hmm. So they pay tithes mm -hmm. very positively. Mm -hmm. Even other things. But they are also living in sin. So even the minister, the pastor of the church has mm -hmm. no power mm -hmm. <laughs> to point about the sin. Mm -hmm. So as a result, the young man, the young lady will grow in sin, but without knowledge mm. that this person is living in sin. Wow. So we have a lot of mm -hmm. people who are lost in the house of God. Very many people lost in the house of God. And there is a point that uh, Dr. has raised a poster mm. uh, that uh, one would want to shift the attention maybe to the leadership in the church. Uh, it's like nothing is being done to the sons and the daughters mm. who are lost in the church. Why is this so? Why is this permissible? You know, what I would like to say is God is no respecter of persons. Sure. And if you are a minister, you should not be a respecter of persons. Things should be told as they are. Mm -hmm. Because a church is not habitation of people doing what they want, sinning the way they want, behaving the, the way they want. A church is a place where whoever comes there and identifies himself or herself with that church must live according to rules and regulations of God's kingdom. Therefore, if somebody is just being fair because probably of the money that he gives, and then you, as the minister, you don't counteract that person. Mm -hmm. You are actually failed. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. You have failed. If you are going to retain that person because of what he gives, the tithe, the offering, mutu ambayo unaweza kumpigia simu, unamuambia, you know, I'm stuck in this and this, and, uh, you know, he throws to you even 20,000 without even minding how <laughs> <laughs> and then that is the way you live exactly. and this person is living in sin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you can be sure you are also lost you are lost minister <laughs> with a lost son in the house both of you are lost you are getting to nowhere <laughs> it becomes a chain of loss yes <laughs> you're not getting anywhere wow. Wow. you know the church must be church mm -hmm. remember what jesus said mm -hmm. i'll build my church and gates of hell shall not prevail, shall not prevail against it. Amen. The church belongs to Christ. To Christ, sure. And if it belongs to Christ, it must attain mm -hmm. the standards of Christ. Like Christ, of Christ. Wow. Very true. Nothing less of that. No <laughs> compromise. <laughs> Nothing short of that. Yes. Dr. Uh, the son that was lost outside, uh, we saw the, uh, the, the actions that he took yeah. to come back. Yeah. What happens to the one who is lost inside? Uh, you know, when the lost son came back to his senses and he decided to go back home, and I don't see that one, he decided to begin again. He was not ashamed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of beginning again. Sure. And this is an area where many <laughs> don't want <laughs> don't <run. laughs> to just go back and begin again. <laughs> because when you are lost, you need to go back trace the way exactly where you got lost. Yeah. Then begin there. Then you you start from there. And you know the boy was not ashamed. Exactly. And he opened up. He opened. He up. was frank. Yeah, very frank. He confessed. He confessed and admitted. I even told the father, father, I've squandered everything. Sure. I'm even ashamed to be a son mm -hmm. in this house. Mm. Please count me as one of the servants. Yes. So he was ready to be read. Mm. He was ready to be counselled. He was ready to reason. He was ready for collection. <laughs> so we can see the character. Yes. The boy is coming with a different attitude, mm -hmm. ready for collection. Exactly. But the lost in the house <laughs> is not ready for collection. It's <laughs> <laughs> not ready for collection. <laughs> so we have a lot of lost sons in the church mm -hmm. who are not ready for collection. Wow. If you make a, re you know, just a single reason of rebuking him, mm -hmm. you can be sure. Sure. He leaves the church. Exactly and goes to another one. Mm -hmm. He's not ready for collection. <laughs> but we see the rust outside. Yes. He's very much willing 
with a lot of humility exactly ready to reason to come back and ready to be forgiven exactly apostle that's uh, a very big difference something yeah. something, <laughs> something something i just wanted to add yes. <laughs> you know when the bishop was speaking he provoked a certain or you know certain idea came up yes that uh, you have these sons uh, who are lost in the house mm -hmm. and if you try to correct them mm -hmm. they even threaten you mm -hmm. to take you to court mm. You try mm -hmm. to announce, you try to say this mm -hmm. and put me to shame, I'll take you to court. They will launch a, they launch a legal suit. Yes. <laughs> so th those kind of sons and daughters, mm -hmm. they will never, uh, they, they, they cannot improve. Exactly. Because, you know, they live mm -hmm. or they think, you know, whatever they do to the pastor mm -hmm. is, is quite okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, with with their contributions, you mm -hmm. know, their contribution is like it stands mm -hmm. for them, yeah. which is totally wrong, mm -hmm. and that should not happen. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, of course, that is happening. So there, what the, I would the, say the, there here, is no shortcut. There uh, is no shortcut. Yeah, if you sin in the church, yes. you'll be rebuked. Exactly. You are being rebuked in order to correct yourself. Right. Because a church is a place where people are prepared for entry to heaven. Right. It's not about the things of this world. Mm -hmm. It's about preparing people to, to go, go to, to heaven. heaven. Sure. So, whether you'll take me to court or not, if you sin, I'll rebuke you. Yes. <laughs> I'll still say, what is it that you've done? Wow. Yes. What an interesting conversation. Like, on that one. Yes, exactly. Maybe in some <laughs> so, few seconds. You know, church is a family. Yes. Where God is the father of the family. Uh -huh. Yes. And every child in that family has responsibility. Amazing. You can't just be rose. You can't just do what you want. <laughs> you have to live to the standards of the house. Of that house. And if you cannot live to the standards of the house, mm -hmm. then the father will discipline you. Uh -huh. That's why he has said that if a son of the house has a problem, priest, warn him, warn her, correct him, correct her. And if he or she is not ready to listen, let him be thrown out. Mm -hmm. So even the church was supposed to be thrown out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe as we conclude, you can say, just as the lost son, the, the one that was lost outside, came back to his senses, when you are also inside the house, you need to come back to your senses. You need to come mm -hmm. back to your senses. <laughs> exactly. Right. And of course, this is what we are looking for. Yes. That we have a lot of sons in the house mm -hmm. who should come back to their senses. To their, to their senses. senses. Uh -huh. They have senses. But they are not sensing. But they are not sensing. <laughs> <laughs> what a captivating conversation tonight, our dear viewer, right here on MBCI TV. The program is Ask the Ministers of God, Lost Sons and Daughters in the House. Just as the son who was lost outside came back to his senses, you could be there inside the house, very inside the house, right in the middle. You also need to come back to your senses. Thank you so much. On board, we've been having Apostle Dan Gishimo, resident minister, on this particular show. Thank you so much, servant of God. It's been a pleasure. And also, Dr. Uh, Bishop Stephen Nyaga from Full Gospel Churches of Kenya. Thank you so much, servants of God, for your great insights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, also, dear viewer. We want to bring it to a close at this particular point. Thank you so much, also, for sharing and also for following us on this particular show tonight. Until we do it again next week at a time like this, I've been your host, Mangi Chomola. Have yourself a blessed evening. Nugget of Wisdom with Apostle Dan Gishimo. The Bible equates hatred to murder. That is according to the letter of 1 John 3 and verse 15. Remember, whenever you utter the words of hatred to a person or people, you are telling others that you have killed. The only remedy is to repent and to stop hating other people.